In the last couple of weeks, DJI has released two firmware updates, one after the other, which is quite unusual. Besides the usual bug fixes, there are also some interesting new features added, some of them specific to the flip, and others regarding the other models of DJI's line. On the DJI Fly app, tap on the three dots on the top right of the screen, and then select the tab About. In aircraft firmware, click on Check for updates. A window indicates that new firmware is available, so we click on Update to access this page with all the details. The two files are quite bulky, and after clicking on Update, I found a message informing me that the storage is insufficient. I have seen numerous messages on forums from users struggling to clear storage space. The easiest way is to connect a remote controller to a computer and turn it on. A folder with the name of the controller will be available. Double-clicking on it, the files of the internal shared storage are shown. Open the folder Movies and delete the files inside it. If needed, do the same with the folder Pictures. We can now return to the About page or the Settings, click on Check for Updates, and this time this should work. If you use the flip control by a smartphone or tablet, DJI Fly App must be updated on the remote device as well. When launching the app, a message indicates that a firmware update is available. Simply follow the instructions. The major update for the Flip is the addition of Dolly Zoom in the Smart Snaps. The Dolly Zoom is an interesting move used in several movies, also known as Vertigo Effect. The traditional way to achieve it using a drone with a controller is by combining two opposite moves, one forward and the other backward, while maintaining the target at a constant size. The subject will appear to be static, while the size of the element in the background and foreground will change, as if they were moving, thus disorienting the viewer. To achieve this effect with a drone, we must choose a subject, a landmark or a person, and an interesting background with elements in different layers. The drone will move towards the target at a constant speed, while an opposite movement is applied by zooming out, trying to maintain the same size for the target. On most occasions it is easier to do the opposite. The drone moves away from the target while zooming in. However, trying to apply the precise amount of zoom to counteract the drone motion is not easy. Better results are obtained by zooming in precisely on a video editor, maybe using guides to maintain the target at a constant size. The new Dolly Zoom functionality introduced by this update is not available when using a remote controller. To know how to perform a Dolly Zoom with any DJI model, click on the link on the screen to watch my specific video. When flying the drone autonomously using palm control, press the mode button on the next part of the fuselage next to the SD card slot. The aircraft will announce the selected modes while cycling through all the different smart snaps. When the only zoom is announced, press and hold the same button while aiming the camera at the target. The flip will take off from the hand and slowly move backwards for a few seconds while filming. The target must be a person, so this feature is limited to vlogging. This is the result. The effect is well implemented, with the background warping nicely, although the resulting movie is way too short. More options are available when using a smartphone or tablet to control the flip. After connecting the remote device to the flip, tap on Settings to access the list of snapshots. The last one is Custom, where we can select the last option, Dolly Zoom. We can choose Medium, Full or White for short sides, with flight distances of 5.1, 9 and 12 meters. The zoom range can be set to 1 to 2 times or 1 to 3 times. With the second option, the effect will be stronger, 
but there will be a noticeable loss of resolution. I suggest sticking to the first one. The last option is fly away before zooming, in which case the aircraft will move to a certain distance before activating the zoom. Another new functionality has been added to the flip, the glamour effects, including skin effects and body effects, a feature previously available only on the DJI Neo. This effect can be added when controlling the flip with a smartphone or tablet. They are not available with a remote control, like the RC2. To activate them after connecting the flip, go to the album page and tap on the three dots on the top right. A window preference will appear with two buttons to activate skin effects and body effects. When they are turned on, the files previewed or downloaded will undergo glamour effect processing. One of the two recent updates, more precisely the 117.0, adds support for the newly released flagship model, the powerful Mavic 4 Pro. This is always the case when a new model is released, however, this time several steps have been taken for the integration of this model with the Mini and the R series. Mavic 4 Pro is now compatible with the RC2 remote controller while the Mini and Air are compatible with the premium RC Pro 2 controller, just released as an option for the flagship model. The RC Pro 2 is a state-of-the-art controller with a 7-inch rotatable screen with a peak brightness of 2000 nits, a built-in microphone, 4 hours of battery life, and 128 GB of storage. It is priced at around 1000 euros or dollar, so more expensive than the Mini 4 Pro itself. It is therefore unlikely that owners of the Mini or Air models will purchase it. However, several advanced owners of the Mavic 4 Pro will consider purchasing a Mini or Air model for urban use. The same update also adds support for storing waypoint flights in the cloud although this option is currently unavailable in the United States. Waypoint is a powerful functionality that was for many years reserved for DJI's flagship model. It is now also present in the Mini and Air series. It works by creating missions based on several points. Each mission is stored in memory to be used at different times of the day or in other seasons. After this update, it will be possible to retrieve from the cloud missions made with other models owned by the same person. If you want to know more about Waypoint Mode, please follow the link on screen to my specific video. A flight simulator has been added to the RC2 Pro and RC2. Let me show how it works on the RC2. We access it through this icon next to Academy. Some basic courses are more useful than I expected and worth going through for beginners to get familiar with the basic maneuvers. After tapping basic courses and then start, simply follow the on-screen instructions. The immersive flight simulates a Mavic 4 Pro. It responds very well to the stick controls. It can cycle through the three speed modes, Cine, Normal and Sport. Several options in the settings can be modified, including the obstacle sensing action, gain and expo tuning, and button customization. <laughs> 